Hey guys, what's up? Chris here from BeerGeekNation.com. Very exciting beer today from Stone. This is their Shokovesa Extra Anijo. It's Stone Shokovesa Mocha Stout aged in red wine and tequila barrels for three months. Uh, Bordeaux wine and an Extra Anijo tequila barrels. 8.5% uh, alcohol, uh, alcohol by volume. I picked this one from qualitylicorstore.com. As you guys probably know, you saw a couple weeks ago, I did my review for the 2015 batch of Shokovesa. I absolutely love that beer. It's one of my favorite stone beers. I think it's just fantastic. There's nothing quite like it on the market. Um, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's earthy. It's just got a whole bunch of flavors going on and they all work. So, throwing into any kind of barrels, I believe there's also a uh, Shokovesa chard, which is bourbon barrels, but I wanted to try this one. I thought the red wine and tequila is really going to kind of accentuate some of the flavors that you get out of the spices. So with that all said, what do you say we get in two glasses? You guys know it smells taste. Give the final verdict on the Chocovesa Extra Nejo. All right, guys, the aroma. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, it's Chocovesa. Get the cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla. But it's definitely kind of mellowed down and toned down. Kind of there's a, a roundness to it. I'm definitely getting the red wine characteristics. A little bit of the tequila. Kind of fruitiness in there. A little bit of oakiness. Yeah, it's a really, really interesting smelling beer. I guess the taste. Cheers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very different beer. I mean, it's in the same family of Chocovesa, but it's very, very dialed back. Um, smoother, silkier, just a rounder, more developed flavor. Spiciness still there. You're still getting that nutmeg, that big kind of um, uh, vanilla kind of uh, cinnamon spiciness is in there as well. But the red wine starting to come through, bringing a little bit of a grapiness in there. Uh, the tequila barrel, kind of the fruity kind of sweetness kind of coming out as well. A little bit of citrus characteristics, some oakiness, some, uh, some of that toasted coconut from the barrels coming out as well. Definitely getting like a tannin quality to it. Um, it's Shokovesa. It's just a well-developed, much more rounded, kind of like a graduate um, thesis version of Shokovesa, if you will. Really, really well-rounded, complex, but it's still Shokovesa at the heart. I guess the final verdict on the Chocovesa Extra Anejo, 8.5%, limited, limited quantities, so get it while you can, pick it up at qualityliquorstore.com, guys. I'm going to give this one an A. I guess the obvious question is, the elephant in the room, how does it compare to the regular Chocovesa? It, 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 it's a different beer. Chocovesa um, is a fantastic beer, but it's intense. There's a lot going on. This is Chocovesa, like I said, kind of, it's the mature version of Chocovesa. Rounded out, more developed, adding those wine barrel characteristics, adding the tequila barrel characteristics into it. Really Really helps to kind of develop the flavors at the same time, bringing down some of the more quote unquote harsh flavors, which they're not harsh, but they're definitely more aggressive. Um, it's just very well rounded. It's, it's an awesome, awesome beer. The barrel did them very, very nicely, even at three months. So with that said, getting an A for me, and remember folks like to short, drink my beers. Cheers.